Hi there. Nice to see all of you. I haven't made a video for a while. Uh, had been sick for a bit and travel and all that stuff keeps you busy. But uh, something that I had on my mind um, was this 144,000 bit. Um, and uh, other witnesses try to say 144,000 are the only anointed going to heaven. All right. Now, I think the first thing, because they do a lot of, one of the, one of the things they do is a all this antitypical stuff, reading into scripture, and trying to read something into scripture that doesn't exist. And um, for instance, in uh, the, as far as 144,000 goes. If you go to Revelation chapter 7, we all know that scripture about um, the 144,000. And I'll read it just to clarify exactly what it does say. And I'm going to read it out of the NWT just so witnesses can hear it the way they hear it. It's not the Bible I actually use anymore. But I do go, I spread around and, and look at all the scripture uh, Bibles that I can. And I go back to the NWT just to verify uh, with what witnesses are, what different scriptures have added and subtracted and that sort of thing. But this particular scripture in Revelation chapter 7 is referring to the four, four angels that are standing in the four corners. And then it says in verse 3, chapter 7, verse 3, it says, do not harm the earth or the sea or the trees until after we have sealed the slaves of our God in their foreheads. So the word that is used is sealed. And I heard the number of those that were sealed, 144,000 sealed out of every tribe of the sons of Israel. Now it gives all the different tribes of the sons of Israel, and you know, Dan has been excluded because they're an idolatrous um, tribe. So they're not given a portion of that 12,000. And it's handed off to Joseph's um, children. It's very specific. It says what they are. It gives the number. And I believe that that number is real. I don't make up anything. I don't say it's spiritual. I don't say it's another number. I say what Revelation says because that's what it's that's what I read. I read 144,000. You know, if God had, wasn't being specific about a particular number, he wouldn't have wasted his time placing a number on each one of the tribes. Would he? He said 144,000 and their sons of Israel. Okay, that's very specific. Out of the tribe of Judah 12,000, 12,000, 12,000, 12,000. 12, okay? And that is the group that are sealed. And then it says, After that I saw and look a great crowd. So this is not 144,000. Which no man was able to number out of all the nations and tribes and peoples and tongues standing before the throne. Okay. And before the Lamb, dressed in their white robes, and they had palm branches in their hands. And they keep shouting with a loud voice, saying, Salvation we owe to our God, who is seated on the throne, and to the Lamb. Okay? And in verse 11, it says, All the angels are standing around the throne, and the elders, and the four living creatures, and they, and they fell face down before the throne and worshipped God. Okay? Now these are all a great crowd. These are people that are in heaven with the 144,000. Right? It's plain as day. You can read it. Now, everybody would like to think that they're going to rule with Jesus. But that's not the case. There's 144,000 that says they're virgin males from, this, from the sons of Israel. But there's another promise. Right? It, it's in Revelation chapter 20 and verse 4. Right, And it says, And I saw thrones, 
and those who sat on them were given authority to judge. Yes, I saw the souls of those executed for the witness they gave about Jesus and for speaking about God and those who had not worshipped the wild beast or its image and had not received the mark on their forehead or on their hand. And they came to life and ruled as kings of Christ for 1,000 years. So it's specific, another number specific. They ruled for 1,000 years. It doesn't say 2,000, it doesn't say for eternity, it doesn't say everlasting, it says 1,000 years. Okay? And it says who the people are. It doesn't say they're the 144,000. It's there, they're a particular group of people that were executed with a witness they gave about Jesus. So, maybe that's Stefan. Perhaps. I'm just picking one that was executed. Or anybody else that had been executed for their testimony, said that for the witness they gave about Jesus and for speaking about God. You see that? They were executed for it. And those who had not worshipped the wild beast or its image. Now, that hasn't come up yet. That's in chapter 13 of Revelation. And soon, we will probably see that happen. There are Christians who will be, you'll be told, you take the mark on your right hand or your forehead, or you'll be executed. Those are the only ones that rule. But, you look in Revelation chapter 7, it talks about a great crowd, right? Then it says, and they came to life and ruled as kings with Christ for a thousand years. And then it says the rest of the dead did not come to life until the thousand years were ended. Now that's in parentheses. This is the first resurrection. Happy and holy is anyone having part in the first resurrection. Over these a second death has no authority. But they will be priests of God and of Christ. And they will rule as kings with him for one thousand years. Specific number. So that's what I take it as. That's what I believe. I believe what the book says. And I don't believe anything outside of that. Okay? As for others that go to heaven, doesn't necessarily mean they're going to rule or reign. It's specific, it's specific about who will reign. Right? We know the 144,000 will be kings. But then there's this other group, right? Who are executed. Who will reign with Jesus for 1,000 years. Here's my cat, Jess. I'm gonna give him a little pet. So, I just wanted to, I wanted to express that because, of course, every, you know, any witness or ex-witness knows what the teaching is. And the Bible doesn't teach that. It doesn't teach that it's some spiritual number. It doesn't, it also, um, it also reduces that anointed term, which is ridiculous. Anointed, anointed of Holy Spirit. Anybody that's a Christian, uh, a believer in Jesus, and asked for Holy Spirit, God said He'd He'd give anybody asking for Holy Spirit, He'd give it to them. That's the anointing. Okay. It's not a ceiling. It's an anointing of Holy Spirit, and all Christians, if you're following Jesus and obeying Him and um, obeying the Ten Commandments as well um, and being Jesus' follower and trying to do your best to be righteous you'll fall within that that anointed class Daddy. off for now